Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer one of the selenium interview questions. That is, what is the difference between find element and find elements? Let me answer. First of all, both of these commands belong to Selenium web driver. In Selenium web driver, we have this find element command and also in the same Selenium web driver library, we have this find elements command. So what is the difference between these two Selenium web driver commands then? Okay. The difference, first difference you can clearly see from the name, it suggests that or states that this find element can only find one element. Okay. Single element can be found with the help of find element. Okay. Selenium can find only one element with the help of find element, whereas with the help of find elements, it can find multiple elements, more than one elements can be found. Okay. So with the help of find elements. So that's the first difference or the main difference you can say. Find element can only find one element, whereas find elements, okay, because of this extra S yes, in this name, can locate more than one elements or multiple elements, okay. So let me practically show you how find element can locate only one element and how find elements can locate multiple elements, okay. For that, I'll open this Eclipse ID and here inside this main method, I'm going to write some Selenium automation code, web driver driver is equal to new, Chrome driver. And just put a semicolon over the mode on this web driver and uh, import this, import this from Selenium libraries, then driver dot maximize the browser window, manage dot window dot maximize, then driver dot get. Okay, driver dot get. Here I have to give the application URL. Let's uh, automate this application that is uh, omai.blogspot.com application. Copy this URL and uh, give it here. And once you go to this application URL, what I would like to do is I would like to enter my name into this text area field. Okay. So I'll inspect this text area field and I'll, you know, create a locator and identify locator for locating this web element because Selenium is by default blind. Okay. With the help of locators only, it can locate the elements on the web pages. Okay. So Selenium actually is providing one command known as driver dot find element command. Okay. Using which it can find one element. Okay. This is the means of Selenium via which it can find the elements. But this find element cannot directly locate the elements on the web pages because Selenium, this particular command belongs to Selenium web driver, but Selenium web driver is by default blind. So this command of Selenium web driver need to take the help of a particular locator. In this case, this text area field when I inspect, I got the HTML code. I can clearly see this as an ID locator. Copy this ID attribute value. And uh, now you have to pass the locator here. Okay, with the help of this locator that I'm mentioning here, Selenium can locate the element. Okay, find element command is from Selenium. With the help of with this command, with the help of this locator, can find the element of the on the web page. This text area can be found with the help of this locator. Okay. Now say dot. What I want to do, I will use this command send case to type the text into the text area field. What I would like to type, I would like to type my name into the text area field like this. Okay. Now run the script. This find element command should be able to find that single element with the help of that locator. Run it. You see that it will open the Chrome browser. Then maximize the browser window. It will open the application URL in the browser. And after that, it will find that text area field and type my name into the text area field. Okay. You see, into the text area field, it has typed my name. That means it has successfully found the element with the help of this find element command. Only one element can be found. So that's one thing. But here, instead of providing the send keys command here, I would like to know what this find element command will return. The find element command returns web element. Okay, hover the mouse on this find element, it will return you the web element. Okay, so web element, element, okay, what is that element? Text area field, right? Text area field, field. Okay, the return type of this find element is, uh, okay, web element. Okay, web element is the return type of this find element command. You can hover the mouse and you can find it out. Okay, this is the return type of this find element command of Selenium web driver. Okay, hover the mouse. Import this. Yeah, done. Now, uh, what I would like to do on this text area field. Now, the other side, first difference is it can only find one element, whereas find elements can find multiple elements. Okay. Second difference of the find element and find elements is find element, the return type of the find element is web element, whereas the return type of find elements is list of web element. Okay. It's normal web element here, as I already proved you here. The return type of this find element is web element, but the return type of the find elements is list of web elements. Okay. So already I'm providing an example for the find element here. As you can see, this is an example of the find element along with the return type and uh, performing the operations and all. 
Okay, I'll type my name here. So this should work again in the same manner. Run this code, right click run as Java application. You should type my name into the text here. Just observe what's happening. It's typing my name into the text area field. Okay. Fine, done, bridge. So, so I gave you the difference between find element and the find elements. I can find only one element, then return type is web element, and example also I provided here. Now, coming to the find elements, let me give you an example for find elements. And I already stated that the return type of the find elements is list of web elements. Instead of normal web element, it is list of web element, and it can find multiple elements. So what is an example where uh, we can use this, uh, you know, find uh, elements command. I'll give you an example. Let's go to the same application. And uh, here with the table we can use, okay. There is one in real time. If you ask me like where exactly have used find elements, I have used find elements with the table, okay. So let's say if I have to count how many rows are there in this table, okay. I would like to find out how many rows are in this table or how many columns are there in this table. All these are possible with the help of find elements command only, okay. So I'll tell you how to do that. So here, remove this part. After going to this application, I would like to find how many uh, rows are there in this table. So for that, since there are multiple rows to be located and all, I would have find elements. Instead of element, I'll use elements because here I'm going to uh, write a locator. That locator will be capable enough in locating multiple elements. Okay, Using single locator, you can locate multiple elements. Such kind of locator you have to create. Inspect this uh, table somewhere here. Yes, right click on the table and inspect. And you can see that this is a table tag where the table is starting. It has an ID. Copy this ID. And now create an XPath expression, control F. Just say control F, you'll get this text box field, double slash table at the rate. ID is equal to give that ID attribute value of that uh, table. It will locate this table now. Under the table, we have the rows. A rows will have TR tag, double slash TR. And press enter. You see, uh, what's happening? Five, total five locators. Five elements are being located. You see, keep on clicking, you see. First row, second row, you can see on the UI also, okay? Third row on the table got located, fourth row, fifth row. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, like that, okay? This single XPath expression is locating five rows in this table, okay? Five elements on the table. So, by dot XPath, by dot XPath, give that XPath expression, which is uh, returning you multiple elements. In this case, the XPath expression is giving you multiple elements. That's the reason we have used find elements. Okay, now I'll show you what this find elements return type is. It's a list of web elements. Okay, you see list of web element. So here I'll say rows. Okay, rows is equal to for the mouse create list of web element is a return type of this find elements. Fine. Now in this example, I would like to find uh, the number of rows in the table. Okay, how many rows are there in the table? I would like to find how to find that. So the list, uh, list uh, has, uh, you know, in Java list has some command known as, uh, you know, or method known as size, okay, something like that. So I'll simply say system dot order 20 and then rows dot size, okay. This is from list, okay, from the list we are getting this rows dot size, okay, from Java. Now I'll quit the browser, driver dot pitch. Now it should print the number of rows, that is, uh, there are five rows in the table, right, it should print that, okay. So this is one place uh, in real time where we can use find elements. Okay, to find multiple elements on the web page. Uh, if an expert, if a locator is there which can return you multiple elements, then you can use find elements to locate all the elements or to find all the elements on the page. Just find here, you see number five got printed. That means total number of rows five. It's working fine. Okay, this is one example where you can use find elements. Okay, now if I use find element here, there's a problem, right? It will return you only the web element. It can return you only return type will be web element only. Row, only one row, only which row will be identified? The first row only, okay? This will identify only the first row, okay? So the, even though this locator is capable capable in enough in locating multiple elements on the web page, the locate, this particular locator is capable enough in locating multiple elements on the web page. All the rows on the table are being located. All the five rows on the table are getting located. But here, instead of find elements, we have used find element. That's a problem. It can only locate the first element being located by this locator okay even though this locator is capable enough in locating five elements but find element will only take the first element in that located elements the first row will be located okay it will take only the first row but if you use find elements so whatever the elements that can be located all the elements can be located found okay so this return type is uh, you know 
You have to put this inside the web elements inside this less than greater than symbol. Outside, we have to write list. Okay, list of web elements is the data type. So, hope you got the uh, answer for this question with practical demonstration and examples and everything, and the differences and everything. Find element can only find one element, whereas find elements can locate multiple elements. Okay. Whereas the return type of find element is web element, return type of find elements is list of web element. And uh, example I provided as part of this session, okay, demonstration of this session. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye bye.